The University of Florida will no longer use the Gator Bait cheer at sporting events, President Kent Fuchs announced Thursday, citing the racist imagery associated with the phrase as the primary reason behind the decision. While I know of no evidence of racism associated with our Gator Bait cheer at UF sporting events, there is horrific historic racist imagery associated with the phrase, Fuchs wrote in a UF statement titled, Another Step Toward Positive Change Against Racism. Accordingly University Athletics and the Gator Band will discontinue the use of the cheer. The cheer typically follows a brief intro from the UF band, followed by fans chomping twice with their left arm over their right arm followed by a Gator Bait cheer. It's unclear if fans will still be permitted to do the chomp, which became popular following the release of the movie, Jaws, before becoming an official tradition during the 1981 season, following Florida's decision. Furthermore, Fuchs said Florida will take steps, removing any monuments or namings that UF can control that celebrate the Confederacy or its leaders. With the country in the midst of nationwide protests regarding the intertwining of police brutality and racism, UF is just the latest establishment to re-evaluate and reflect on behavior previously given a pass. The representation of black children as alligator bait was perpetuated in motion pictures and popular song, such as the not-so-sweet lullaby, Mammy's Little Alligator Bait, composed by Henry Wise and Sidney Perrin in 1899, according to the Library of Congress. Historical evidence on the subject, however, has been mixed until recently, a 2014 article in the Miami New Times concluded, during slavery and into the 20th century, black babies were used as alligator bait in North and Central Florida. Time magazine in 1923 reported the practice of using black children as alligator bait had taken place in Chipley, Florida, the town refuted this claim, calling it, a silly lie, false and absurd. For fans of Florida's athletic programs, the chant has taken on a life of its own, from numerous publications, to Gator great Lawrence Wright leading the cheer, if you ain't a Gator, you must be Gator bait. During a large celebration at Florida Field following Florida's 1996 national championship, the cheer has become Florida's version of, Roll Tide. I'm not going for it, Wright told the Gainesville Sun. I created something for us. It's a college football thing. It's not a racist thing, it's about us, the Gator Nation. And I'm black. What about our history as the Gator Nation? We took a program from the top five to know. One in the country. I think I've done enough, put in the sweat and tears, to get to offer my opinion about something like this. Former Florida player and coach Steve Spurrier understands Fuchs' decision. It kind of surprised me, but I didn't know there was anything racial about it, Spurrier said.